I'm Beethovenus, the leader of Team Switched and the lead developer of TS Underslow. We're really excited to be a part of Under Event. Over the last few years, our little fan game has gone through quite a lot of changes. Planning, writing, art, music, coding, direction. But despite everything, we've made it this far. And we don't plan on giving up anytime soon. Before we discuss the future, though, it's important to note that everyone has to start somewhere. So let's go ahead and discuss... Our history. Back in 2016, a group of passionate Undertale fans created Team Switched. They had wanted to make a fan game based on the community-created Underswap alternate universe. At the time, however, this group consisted of teenagers and young adults with little to no experience in game making. Understandably, this project went through a long period of development hell, as the team was bursting with brand new ideas and original assets, but had trouble finding a solid direction. Not only that, but coders were scarce and resulted in considerable setbacks in development. But over time, those who had stayed a part of the team gained much better knowledge on the do's and don'ts of game design, understanding what did and didn't work. Over the years, this team also saw its fair share of people joining and leaving. We now have a group of hard-working, talented, and passionate individuals who work well together. Furthermore, the team decided to reinvent the entire project, putting focus on being more faithful to how Undertale's characters were portrayed. In other words, instead of changing the characters to fit the story, we changed the story to fit the characters. This would result in us asking many questions. For instance, why would Sans want to be a member of the Royal Guard? The answer is, well, he wouldn't. He's the kind of character to take matters into his own hands, but only when he absolutely needs to. Which sounded a lot like a vigilante to us. Then eventually, that idea developed into the goofy superhero named Crossbones. It's decisions like these that have formed the project's identity, and set it apart from both the original Underswap AU and Undertale itself. We're glad to have managed to pull together and not only release the demo, but also chart a course for the project going forward. But of course, we wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't learn some valuable lessons. Not just for game development, but for any kind of group project. 1. Take your time. Set realistic goals and deadlines for yourself and others. Don't rush or crunch your team members. 2. Ideas don't have to come out perfect or fully formed. Don't be afraid to let others build off your ideas to make new ones. Collaboration is key. 3. Don't overthink ideas. Doing so can really muddle them and make things overcomplicated. And finally, teamwork makes the dream work. As cliche as that sounds. Always make sure to be civil about disagreements and make compromises. That's where our best ideas have come from. While this project has gone through many different iterations, we wouldn't have had it any other way. The time we've taken has allowed us to create something we're proud of. Regardless of whatever the future has in store for us, we're very fortunate to have been given this opportunity. But of course, we've only just begun. If you've played the demo all the way to the end, you no doubt saw a glimpse of the area after Ruined Home, Starlight Isles. You're probably wondering how much we've done with the area since then. While we were initially planning to take a break, the positive reception of the demo gave us the drive to start working on Starlight Isles pretty much right after. And, well, here's some of what we have so far.